Hi, welcome to Sumery P. Today I've got my all-time favorite brownie recipe, which is rich with dark chocolate, but I'm making it with buckwheat flour, so it's naturally gluten-free. If you want a, a brownie recipe with buckwheat that tastes normal, this is for you. Come with me and let's see. So step one for our rich dark chocolate brownie, you need to pop your oven on to 170 degrees C and we need to prep our tin. I'm using a square 23 centimeter brownie tin and I've greased it and lined it with paper. The next step is we need to melt our dark chocolate with some butter. I'm using a Swiss 70% dark chocolate and there's 200 grams or two little packets. But if you don't want it so rich, use milk chocolate. So let's get this boiling. So I've got a little, a small little saucepan here and to the base of that, I'm adding some water. If you don't want to fuss with this double boil method, you can just zap it in the microwave, maybe three times 30 second bursts. So I've chopped all my chocolate up. So that goes in this heat proof bowl and we've got 250 grams or a whole packet, which is about, I think it's two sticks in the US. We're adding all of that unsalted butter to the chocolate. And that just needs to do its thing um, and melt down. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it down. My water is splashing every, everywhere and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. And we're almost there. So our chocolate butter mix is all melted. So I've just set that to one side. And in this large bowl, I'm gonna sift in my flour. So I'm using buckwheat flour, but you can use the flour of your choice. Salt flour, regular flour. I've tried it with oat flour and rice flour but it gets a little bit grainy. So I prefer the buckwheat flour if I want to do a gluten free. 65 grams or half a cup in there. This is dark cocoa powder. So I've got 80 grams or half a cup. So it's got double chocolate and there's no baking powder in this one. But if you want a more cakey um, brownie, add a teaspoon of baking powder to this mix now. So just get all that sifted. And then I've got some caster sugar in here. That's one cup or 200 grams. So we just whisk that together until it's combined. This bowl's not too hot. Yep, it's fine. I'm going to pour in my dark chocolate mix. So we'll pour that into our floury sugary mix. And if you're new here today, consider subscribing. All you need to do is have a, an account, hit the bell, and then you get notified when I've got a new video. Okay, look how gooey and rich that is. So this might seem odd. I've got four eggs to add into this, but it just tastes amazing. We're gonna add one egg at a time. And you'll notice that the mix starts looking really silky and that's perfect. But you need to switch it on. And the very last egg is the one that should transform it into this silky gooey gorgeousness. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how gorgeous this looks. But look how that looks so delicious and silky. So we just wanna tap it down to remove any air bubbles. We need to bake this for 25 minutes until it's crispy on the edge and still soft and gooey in the middle. The tip is don't over bake it. So I have a confession. The first batch I did, I got distracted and I overcooked them. So this is what not to do. That's what they look like when they're overcooked. So I did a second batch and this batch turned out perfectly. So let's, Zoom in and we'll do a taste test. So I'm going to show you the difference. So that's the good one. So see how it's not too high. It's gooey and dense. And that one, there's just, it cooked higher. I think I had the oven temperature up slightly. You know, it's not a complete disaster. Let's taste it. it tastes pretty good. Like it's moist. It's not gooey. It's got a crunchy top. If you got this at a cafe, you'd think it was pretty good. Now let's taste the other one that I did. Mm, that's more fudgy and gooey. Somehow it tastes richer. So don't overcook it, undercook it. Don't have your oven up too high. And let me know in the comments below if you like buckwheat brownies and if you've given them a go. And hit the thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you like what you've seen and share this with a friend. And I'll see you next time. Not sure which one to have. Maybe this one. <laughs> see you later. Bye.